Alright, we're here, the Gnarly Roots Cannabis, taking a soil sample for the microbiometer. Yeah, dig in there, we're nice and good, two to five inches down, and he's using a clean tool. You don't want to use your hands because they've got microbes on them. And then we need at least one milliliter of soil, so I would do a couple scoops. Does that look wet enough? Eh, yeah. This is pretty, pretty uh, dry. Let me move over here. Yeah, it's much better. All right, awesome. All right, we are trying out a microbiometer for the first time. Here we go, we've got a sample of gnarly roots, cannabis soil. There we go. First thing we're gonna do is sift it. This little handy sifter. the sifter directly in the soil bag. All over. These are just like little sink catchers. Sink drain. Uh -huh. Yeah. So once you get the tiny particles out. Yeah, it's holding back the bigger soil particles and big organic matter debris. I wonder if that'll be enough. Try it out. Let's see. Make sure it's not all wrong. <laughs> Got our soil sample. Now we're going to use this thing. And the video said to fill it up to the one milliliter line. So go ahead and open it up to one milliliter. Scoop it in there. Okay. And then it says compact to half a milliliter. So just put your finger over the edge and push until it gets to 0.5 milliliters. Like that. Okay, so we've got our soil sample in the syringe. We need some water in here. We need the little microbiometer extraction powder. I'm go ahead and rip the top off of this. Pinch it on the side so it opens up. Pour it into this tube. And fill it up with water. I think I'm going to get a little bit more water. I felt like it was pretty much full in the video little bit. Stir it up. Now we're going to put the soil sample in there. Pour a little bit more water in. Break it up. And then use this little whisk they sent us. Ooh, that's close. Turn it on. Ooh, it's kind of dripping out. Put a little too much water in there. 30 seconds. 
We're gonna just imagine when it's been 30 seconds. I think it's within 30 seconds. Okay. Now we set a timer and let it sit for five minutes and then tap it down and let it sit for another 15 minutes. So we'll be back. All right, our first five minute timer went off. So we're just gonna take it and slowly just tap it. All right. And now we're gonna go for 15 more minutes before we take our sample. All right, it's been about 15 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and take one of these microbiometer slip samples. So we're gonna take that and set it in the square there. We got that set down. Take a little pipette, dip it into the water. Be careful not to pick up any organic debris. Right, and we're gonna drop three drops into the center. One. Two. Three. Now we're gonna use the microbiometer app on a smartphone and just go ahead and Center this, so start away from the sample so the camera can adjust and then move closer so that the squares align. So just make sure that's in the center. And go slowly in. All right. Now to figure this out. You've got, it tells you right away, which is crazy. I don't know how it does that. Awesome. <laughs> um, microbial biomass content is in the good range. So this is what you're gonna see when your app reads the results right there. Kind of gives you a range and his soil sample is right in the middle. It's not bad, it's not great. Um, so pretty good. And this is very useful so you can tell how your microbes are, like what the content of them, their ratio in the soil. And it also gives you the fungal to bacterial ratio, um, which is 34% fungal and 66% bacterial. So um, pretty cool. And this is an area that's been tilled, correct? So that's probably why the fungal ratio is much lower, but um, not bad. So cool, microbiometer, my first time using one. I'm excited to look at these results in further detail and then sample the same area in maybe six months from now and see how you've improved. All right, thank you.